hello you are welcome to fullness hub today i'm going to show you another interesting topic which um, talks about the the stator now i've showed you about the amateur and i've showed you um how the amateur functions in my in my previous videos so today i'm going to show you the reason why that amateur is being configured the way it is being configured why the amateur is being configured the way it is being configured let's take a good look at the stator right here sorry as you can see here is the stator here is one winding because the winding start from here and the winding end here because all these poles you see here all this one here one here one here they are into 30 they are 30 in numbers they are 30 slots so the whole of here will contain 15 slots that is five this here will, be, will become five here from here to here will be five here will be five and they will leave another space in between here let me go further let me show you what i'm talking about sorry As you can see, sorry, I'm heading for the video. Sorry, let me show you. Yeah, as you can see, it is one, two, three, four, five. So there is one here, there's two here, there's three here, so five here. So they will skip another five here. And they will put that five here. So this three you are seeing here is the exciter of the coil. So as you can see, the armature, the armature, because of this winding, as, as, as you can see, here is it. So this part from here down here is one part from this particular area down to this area is on that part so once the armature is on the center here it will communicate with the upper part the upper part which is here and it will communicate with this other part that is why you see that the armature has two pole the north pole and the south pole up and down very big so as it is spinning as the armature is spinning it is producing light so the armature must rotate a certain amount of 3000 rpm before it can produce light because of the way they wind it like this now because of the winding because of this double winding they do here one here and the other one here so the armature is also true so that is the reason why the armature need to rotate 3000 rpm before it can produce light now another reason that makes it to rotate that long is that there is an exciter that is being attached to this stator that exciter now is to excite the field the armature does not have a permanent magnet it is a temporary magnet a coil magnet so before the coil magnet can be magnetized before the coil magnet on the armature can be magnetized, there is a need for the armature to rotate for a long period of time before it can be magnetized to produce your ele ele electricity. So this is just the way of the winding of the stator. Now for a better result for a PMA, there is a need for a different kind of winding which i'm going to explain later there is a need for a different type of winding which i will explain later sorry there will be a need for a different type of winding which i will explain later so please stay tuned i'm going to send videos accordingly to show you how to do it and how to get a lower rpm thanks thank you so much and please do subscribe to this channel press the bell notification button so you can see all my videos these videos have been helpful to you